Hey everybody, it's me, Ricky, and I just wanted to drop in to give you some words of encouragement around this political and social climate that we have. Over the past couple of weeks, we've made some great strides and we've seen some amazing things happen in our country politically, where we've seen a new president being installed, we've seen new vice president Kamala Harris, you know, our first woman, our first African American, Asian American to even to ever hold that office. Those are all great things. We've also seen a flip in our House and Senate, which means it's going to change, you know, how laws are made in our country. So in all of that, we're still clouded with this impeachment. And a lot of people have been coming to me and saying, hey, how can a president be impeached twice? You know, what does impeachment really mean? So I wanted to cover a couple of a couple of those things today. So impeachment is pretty much to say that a president or a person in an office has committed a high crime or a misdemeanor. Now that high crime or misdemeanor can be taken any way that you want, but pretty much the house will determine um, if a person has committed a high crime. So that's what we've had here. Donald Trump has been accused for the second time of high crimes and misdemeanors. And the House of Representatives has said, yes, we believe that those things were committed. So he's been impeached. Now, a lot of people say, well, he continued to be president. That's because after you're impeached, the Senate will then hold the trial to see if you will be removed from office. So in the first impeachment, the Senate found that, hey, he's acquitted, he won't be removed from office. So this time they're doing another trial to see if he will be removed from office. And that leads to a follow-up question. He's already out of office. So what does that mean? Well, if he is convicted of the high crimes and misdemeanors on this term, he can no longer run for any other political office, especially president or any, any, any office for that matter. He could also potentially lose his pension, which all presidents get, you know, after they're out of office. So there's a lot of things that are still up in the air. So that's why you can see two impeachments and not having a president removed from office and still have trials going on even after someone is removed from office. But, you know, I would encourage you to continue to pray for our country pray for our leaders and especially pray for our Senate because the trial actually starts today. So we'll be seeing this all over our media, but pray for them as they, as they make this decision. And as always for us, we can continue to heal forward. Well, heal forward in your own way. I'm still a work in progress. Peace.